all hate Toronto, and here are the directors of said film, Albert, Albert Nurburk. You've been on our show before. Yes. You may have recognized him from some of the other stuff he did, including Stupidity, and of course, Mr. Toronto himself, Rob Spence. How are you, man? <laughs> What's it like traveling across the country uh, and doing a film like this? It's exhausting, George. You walked, is that why? Did a lot of walking, yeah. as you see in the film. Uh, I really wanted to get in there and talk to really ordinary Canadians, you know? Mm -hmm. Some of them don't have cars in some regions of, of Canada, and uh, hitting the, the dirt roads, the, the back roads <laughs> of some of these um, sort of provincial backwaters. Uh -huh. Uh, really good, you know. yeah. Some of them don't have teeth either. I've yes. heard that. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. you care to name any places? Who hates Toronto the most? What did you d d d discover, like currently? Vancouver. <sighs> really? Vancouver really, really hates Toronto. Do they know why they hate Toronto? No. Uh, we found out there's sort of a mathematical <laughs> formula for, for hating Toronto, and okay. roughly it is the distance sort of uh, times the amount of Toronto media they get. Oh, okay. So if they're at a greater distance, and they watch more Toronto television. For example, in the Yukon, mm -hmm. they actually seem to, to be pretty angry at Toronto. Um, that would explain it, basically. Well, George, have you ever had like a really lazy pothead roommate? Yeah. <laughs> and you say, I'm going to work. Yeah. And they're like, I hate you. <laughs> it's like that. And it's like, you know, I'm sorry that you can't get up off the couch except for the occasional kayak. <laughs> you know? And I just shake my hand and said, whatever, whatever. I think uh, I know why they some, hate Toronto. Somebody's got to run this country, don't you? Somebody, like guys <laughs> like you and me, uh -huh. here in Toronto. That's right. Uh, they need, the country needs us to tell them how it is. You feel the same way, Albert? <laughs> Not exactly. You know, I, I do think that... Um, uh, you know, uh, you asked what it, what it was like. It, uh, it was actually quite wonderful. We found that the, the, the revelation for us was that, yes, we knew that people resented Toronto, but we found that once you give them the chance to talk about it, they really relax. It's sort of like, you know, once you can get past your anger, mm -hmm. you can move on to love. Right. And I, we found that people were pretty affectionate towards Toronto if they got the chance to kind of air their beefs. So that's right. Well, and, and you have like ten reasons why in this one. I don't want to go through all ten, mostly because people should see your film, yeah. uh, but we should, there's a few of the reasons that we should talk about. Uh, Big Smoke, the name The Big Smoke. Yeah, in the United States, they call the biggest city the Big Apple. Mm -hmm. In Canada, they call it the Big Smoke. In the United States, George, they say, I love New York. Uh -huh. That's the expression about New York. In Canada, they say Toronto sucks. Right. <laughs> Something's wrong here. There's, there's, it's insecurity. Right. It's jealousy. It's it's not even. But why do they? Well, why the big smoke? Why does the big smoke? What, where's the resentment for that? We f we found there's a little bit of a, a strange standard here, which is that Toronto, as we know, is a polluted city. It's mm -hmm. a, it's a big city, but people are somehow shocked that a city like Toronto would have pollution. Like, why doesn't it smell like raspberries? Yeah. You know what I mean? Um, and so th we found that they, they sort of apply this idea that, you know, wh why is there so much traffic here? Why is there so much pollution? Well, uh, more than five million people live here. That's what happens, you yeah. know? So I f we found that's like one of the weak... The weak criticism. The media Toronto. center. I think you know there is. I remember once being in in, in Winnipeg and I was just sitting at a, at, a, at a restaurant and some guy was bitching about TSN, the sports channel, calling it the Toronto Sports Network, yeah. right? And he's like, "Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't know you're from Toronto." And I thought, "I don't work for TSN, dude. I don't care." You know. They say, also say hockey night in Toronto. Too. Hockey night in Toronto, which is true, except not during the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> There's no. <laughs> that ain't gonna happen. You see, I think I personally think one of the major reasons why they don't really hate Toronto, except for a couple of the ornery little punks, but who cares? The, they generally hate the Leafs. Yes. Like, there's a lot of people, I know there are a lot of Leaf fans across the country because if you're an old school cat, there were only the Leafs and the Habs. Uh, in Canada, they're Canada's they, team. What, what? Traditionally, they're Canada's team. You're right, you're right, traditionally. Yeah. Um, but they just hate the Leafs now so much, and probably the fact that they're on Hockey Night in Canada a lot just really irks the hell out of them. It's funny, I didn't notice this until we went on the tour. Somebody explained it this way. They said that when you're watching a game, let's say Leafs versus Montreal or Calgary, mm -hmm. you get the feeling that the play-by-play -play guy knows all the Leafs players really well, but that the, the Montreal guys or the, or the Calgary guys to the, are, may as well be a bunch of aliens. You know, they don't, he, doesn't, he doesn't have a familiarity with that them. That guy with the Russian name yeah. takes the pass <laughs> to the Slovakia. And now, you know, and, you know, and now Matt Sundin's got it. There, you know, yeah. God's on our side. <laughs> and in, fact, in fact, in the last game between Montreal and Toronto, and you know there's that incredible reversal that happened right towards the end, mm -hmm. they actually said that it appeared that God had intervened on the side of Toronto. 
So it does happen. It does happen. I, I love the fact that when you were, when you were on that Vancouver radio station, the guy was uh, saying, when was the last time the Leafs were, and then all of a sudden, when was the last time Vancouver was, and he said 1994, and they gloated. And I thought, you guys lost to New York. Yeah. You can't gloat about, well, even though the Leafs aren't going to win the Cup in any of our lifetime, that is not going to George, happen. maybe you should just take it easy with the Leafs jokes, okay? <laughs> <laughs> all right? Maybe you should just relax with the Leafs jokes. Yeah. We're in Toronto here, okay? Maybe you, should, maybe you should just get a little bit behind the Leafs. Is this okay? Are you all right? This is a bit of a sensitive thing for you, isn't it's it? It's been a long Toronto appreciation tour, okay? Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, it's not, you know, easy. Uh, were you alive in 67? I don't think you were. No, George, I wasn't. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but the spirit of the Leafs was, and that's why that belief, that, that belief come hell or high water, uh -huh. even if it's usually hell, yeah. <laughs> you know, is, is alive today and well. I remember being in Maple Leaf Gardens one night, uh, first game of the season, and a guy held up in the stands. He had a Leaf jersey on, and he held up a sign that said, maybe next year. And that was game Every one. Year. Every year. Uh, Every myths, year. Myths about Toronto. I think actually this gets, in your film you kind of get to the heart of it. There are a lot of things that Toronto claims they are, which they are not. Yeah. And uh, talk about some of the myths. One of the biggest ones that you hear everywhere, and this is, comes, I think, from St City Hall, is that Toronto has been, you know, been named. There's some declaration by the United Nations that Toronto's the most diverse city in the world. Mm -hmm. And we, were, we found that was, there's something a little bit strange about that. We did a little bit of research and we found out as far as we know, the United Nations doesn't make those kind of declarations. And actually, how would you ever measure diversity? Is there a, like a device, like a diverse sometimer that you could point at you know, a city and it would say, incredibly diverse? Um, so it turns out that it's, it's a, probably a fiction. It actually never happened. But the city has largely based its sort of public image on that idea, which is sort of a bizarre idea. Yeah, well, it's pretty diverse. City Vancouver is very diverse. Montreal is very diverse. It's a very diverse country. The whole country is diverse. And I think that's sort of what, what sort of sometimes bugs people about Toronto is that Toronto kind of has one over on you. It's more diverse than you are. Mm -hmm. It and could be more diverse. We just can't measure it, we figured. <laughs> <laughs> it's possible. What's the worst place you guys went to? Can you say that? The worst place? Probably Hamilton. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> what a shithole. You know? Come on, the hammer's a nice place. It is a nice place. The hammer's actually. Place. Yes. I don't know. He, there was you, a huge... You're right, you have to have this show for a long... You know, you got to be here tomorrow. I, you know. <laughs> what do you care, right? Hamilton he, is, uh, you know, it's a shithole. They had a campaign. They, <laughs> they had a... Hamilton had a campaign against Toronto where they had billboards across the city that said Toronto sucks, which is really what got him going in the first place. So they, they put giant billboards up that say Toronto sucks. You know what, but they, that's you know, not even original. They stole that from Toronto Rocks. Well, there was an old promotional campaign in Toronto, Toronto Rocks. Yeah. The hammer couldn't Well, they're not that bright either, you know? You know what? You know what? <laughs> your next documentary, not that I would tell you what to do, nor am I your agent, but your next documentary should be how Torontonians hate the people in the suburbs. Deal? Deal. Awesome. Yeah. Nice to see you guys. Good to see you, Thank you very much. Right. Good. Good. Again, Thank you. Right on. Mm -hmm. 1967. Lots more of the program. We'll be right back. <laughs>